Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I want to show you a little bit of the storage in the Soul Horizon. I have had a comment that, you know, they said that they were looking at the Soul Horizon, but they were a little bit concerned about the storage. And honestly, when you are looking at a trailer this size, it doesn't look like there's that much storage. But I'll tell you that we have yet to run out of storage solutions. We typically take the camper out, Friday, Saturday, come back Sunday, but we have taken it on a week-long trip before and even then we didn't use all of the storage. So today what I'm going to do is take you through all of the storage areas in the Soul Horizon and I'm going to show you a little bit of how I pack. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pretend like I am packing for a winter weekend in the mountains. That's the most recent trip that I took, so I'm going to kind of show you especially because winter clothing tends to be more bulky and you need more space for stuff like that. So let's get into it. All right, so if I am going to pack for a weekend trip in the mountains, this last trip that I went on with my sister, we left Friday morning. We were up there all day Friday, Saturday, and we left Sunday morning. So this is kind of what I packed. I have two pairs of pants, leggings, two long sleeve shirts. They're pretty thin two tank tops and a pair of shorts. This is pretty much what I would sleep in. I brought an extra tank top just in case it's a warmer day than I think it's going to be or whatever. Sometimes I pack a little bit extra. Three sports bras in case I get sweaty. Four pairs of underwear in case I poop my pants. And then four pairs of socks. I have a thinner pair, a medium thickness pair, and then two pair of um, thick merino wool socks. A hat and a scarf a lighter pullover sweatshirt. It did rain on our last trip, so a rain jacket. My puffer, pair of boots. I usually like to tote my camera along just in case I wanna do some photography stuff. I don't always use it, but I do typically bring it with me. I also usually bring a pair of Crocs to just kind of wear around the campsite, um, and then tennis shoes that I'm already wearing. So that's what I have. I'm gonna go through how I pack it in this area and then I'll kind of talk through when Johnny packed stuff with me, Alexis, she went with me on the last trip. So I'm going to talk through all of those things. So right here, this did not come with the camper obviously, but I did buy these on Amazon. I will link them in the description in case you want to try something like this in your camper, whether you have a Soul Horizon or another camper. But I have this little three pocket thing and then I have one on this side too. Oh look, I left socks in there. So. I use these for underwear, sports bras, socks. Sometimes it's bathing suits if we're doing a summer camping trip, but I'll show you how we fill these up. So I have my three sports bras, my winter socks, stick those in the bottom, stick my other socks in the bottom because they fit, four pair of underwear, and that is all of my undergarments. So I have room in these three pockets right here for either Johnny stuff. I had Alexis stick her undergarments in there. So this fits pretty much all the undergarments that we may need. And I'll say this too, you don't have to do this. I just liked it. It kind of filled up blank space on the wall. It's easy to grab and go, but I, I can do it all up here too in these cabinets if I need to. I never have filled up all of these cabinets. Okay, so this is the drawer that's under the bed. This is how I packed it last time, and I will go ahead and tell you that typically when it's me and Johnny, we will share this drawer, or I'll let him have the drawer and I'll use a cabinet, but I'll show you pretty much how this was used for the last trip. Okay, two pairs of pants, jammies, my two thin long sleeve shirts, my light sweater, and that's pretty much what I had in there like that. And I forgot to say this in the beginning of the video, but this is typically what I have my bathroom stuff in. So it will either go in this drawer if I have room, or if I have room in the upper cabinet above the kitchen, I'll put it up there, but I'll show you that in a moment. So you can see I have pretty much all of my clothes in this drawer and there's still room to spare. I could actually put all of my socks and underwear in this drawer if I need to. We could fit two people's clothes in this drawer. We still have storage space all around the bed. All right, so now that I showed you everything that was in the drawer below the bed, let's show you the cabinets around the bed. So you've got three cabinets. And it looks like there's not a ton of space in there because this is curved, but if you pack it right, you can do it. Now, I did do something different with my jackets for this trip 
but I'm just going to show you my puffer jacket. Just roll it up, stuff it in there. Good to go. And you can do the same thing with the rain jacket in the same cabinet. So there's that. But I do have some command hooks that I put up near the front door just so it's an easy grab. So you can do that if you don't like the cluttered look up there, then you can just stuff them in your cabinet. And you still have two more cabinets here. So I can stick my scarf and hat. I still have room. I can stick. That one doesn't want to stay open. Sometimes the little things don't stay open. They stay open long enough for me to pack stuff in there. Bath towel. What I usually do is I will travel with my clean bath towels folded up on the bed and then I'll just go ahead and hang them up in the shower and that way they're out of the way and they're not taking up space. But you can do that if you need to. I still have a whole other cabinet over here empty ready for stuff. A little storage basket here. That fits in there. I have three extra towels in case you might need extra towels for something. If your dog gets wet, if you need to wipe off your feet because they get wet because it's rainy. So I have a regular beach towel and then two microfiber towels. And they fit in there just fine. So here's my camera. You can see you still have storage cabinets right here. So I keep a travel hair dryer in here just in case I might need it. And then my camera usually travels up here. But you can see these little um, rope baskets that I got from Hobby Lobby, they fit up here. So you can stick all kinds of things. Sometimes bathing suits go up there, little doodads that you might carry with you. Now there is a hanger right here in case you do need to take hanging clothes. I have used this before if we go somewhere where I need to take a dress and I'll just hang the dress up here at night I'll move it either into the bathroom if it's not wet in there, or I'll just sit it in the dinette and then I just hang it back up here the next morning. So there you can see how I use the bedroom area pretty much. And again, you can shift things around, do things differently. We have not run out of room yet. And let's say that it is rainy. You get your jacket, your rain jacket wet. You obviously don't want to leave it to drip sitting in your camper. So you have hooks in here and you can hang up your jacket and let it drip dry in the shower. That way, nothing else is getting wet except for what is meant to get wet. So let's pretend that all of Johnny's clothes are in this drawer below the bed. I'm gonna show you everything that I just put in that drawer. I bet you I can fit it in this one cabinet. Two pairs of pants, two long sleeve thin shirts, my pajamas and if I roll this up sweater let's see can I fit my hat and scarf in there all of the clothes that I need in that one cabinet not including my undergarments my underwear sports bra socks they could all fit in here along with my bathroom bag. I know that I'm repeating myself by showing all of this, but I just want to really show how much this stuff can hold. This isn't as neat and tidy as this solution. And I still have a whole other cabinet. Welcome to the kitchen cabinets. Usually up here, it's food and stuff. I have salt and pepper and hot sauce right here. I think I got these from, yeah, I got these from Target. But they don't slide around. They've got little rubber feet on the bottom. So I usually put small things in here that could fly around. Food usually sits up here. Most of the time it does take up all of this area, but in the event that it doesn't, Bathroom stuff. I'll have this little section just for bathroom stuff. And let me say about these cabinets. These don't bother me. 
There's one above the dinette, the big one that's two of these on one thing to hold them up. It does not stay open well. I will continue to sing Intex praises. They have a really, really well built trailer. There are some annoyances and I will be honest with the things that I can't stand. So that cabinet not staying open gets on my nerves because it's, that one's a nightmare when you have to put the table back up there because it closes on your arms. I do want to touch on one more thing with the cabinet. Like I said, most of the stuff that we take for food fits up here. I do have a fruit hammock and uh, we'll take apples, oranges, bananas. Little tip though, do not travel with it actually hanging up. I'll put the fruit in here and then I'll just lay it on the bed while we travel. But, so our fruit and stuff goes in here and then most of our food fits here. You have to watch out where the little tension hinges are, whatever they're called. Um, here's an example, I bet this won't close because my bathroom bag's in the way. Yeah, it won't close all the way. So you have to make sure there's a little bit of space for that hinge to close. I've shown you in my kitchen video how all of my drawers are organized, so if you want to see how the kitchen is organized, be sure to go check out my kitchen video. And then because I can't remember if I showed under the sink, I'm going to show you under the sink. So this is what we have going on under the sink. I have a little trash can. This is a bucket that just has Clorox wipes, extra toilet paper. I do have paper towels for greasy things that I don't want my reusable paper towels to be used for. And then I do keep trash bags. Sorry, it's dark in here. And then some cleaning spray. Okay, so now for the dinette area. This is really the only cabinet that I have used for storage. When it's just me and Johnny, we're going to the lake or whatever, this is where I keep towels. So again, I have the same towels. I have a beach towel, a bath towel, two microfiber towels. And I can probably fit, you know, two or three more towels in there or whatever else I want to put in there. For fun, let's put this blanket in there. I have a little decorative blanket. I'm just going to shove it in there, okay? We're not going to do this formally. So towels, a blanket, and there's probably still room to spare in there. Now, as I take this out, I'm going to tell you for my trip with my sister, this is where she put her clothes, except for her underwear and stuff. Just because, again, the pockets that I have near the bed are easier to grab and go for what you need. I will show you what we have in here um, as far as room goes, but she took all of the clothes that she needed and there was still room to spare. So this is the double door that I was telling you about. This does not stay open very long at all. This is where I keep the table and the table leg. It just doesn't stay open. It's almost like they need a second one right here and then maybe it would stay open long enough, but I always get my arms stuck and it makes me angry, but that's okay. Table and the table leg stays up there or if I need to, the cushion and the shorter table leg, if I have the table out in table mode. And then if we don't even need the table, if we know it's gonna be a great weekend, no bad weather, and we don't need to sit in here to eat, then we will just leave the table at home and use this for storage. And again, we have cubby holes, okay? So you have this open cubby hole and then you have another one right here. I turned off the blue light so it's easier to see. So I just keep a little painted thing that I got from Bermuda that reminds me of our trip to Bermuda. Precious. I have a little basket here that has a decorative fake plant, some coasters because I do like to protect my surfaces from hot and cold things. I keep a candle in here in case I don't have the bird with me and I want fresh smells. This little solar lantern I just threw up here. Cricket's mirror and then a dehumidifier which I cannot find the cord to but I keep that up here because this pretty much needs to be used all the time. If you have a camper you need a dehumidifier for the love of God but you don't have to put decorative stuff up here. You have so much more room to put other things that you need. And then this cabinet I think I have stuff in here for Cricut to chew on. Another little fake plant for decorative purposes. Johnny loves these napkins, so they stay in here for some reason. I keep a little vacuum up here because I'm constantly having to vacuum. And then a fan just in case someone else needs it. I've got a little bowl that's got some bug spray. And then some DVDs in case we do not have enough internet service to stream on the TV. So you can use this cabinet 
for whatever you need. And really quick while I'm holding the camera, let me put Yahtzee back up too. So I keep a couple of games in here. I usually have a deck of cards in here too. Some rags, um, extra fuses, a whistle, but just a little random doodads and there's still room in here. And I have used this drawer for different things. It changes around all the time based on what I need, but plenty of storage space in here. And I have seen people use the microwave as storage. Oh, I left a paper towel in there. I'm disgusting. <laughs> I have seen people use the microwave as storage for things. If you need to, you could probably store food in there. Um, and then people have actually taken this microwave out if they never use a microwave and made it into a cabinet. But I haven't even needed to use it for storage, but that is an option. Lastly, I'm gonna go through the storage under the dinette. Now, and I'm gonna touch on a couple of other things too on how we store things in the dinette as far as shoes go. So let me take this off. Now this came as a solid piece of wood. I had it cut in half because it was a booger to move this wood. Oh yeah, I forgot I stuck this down here. I usually keep this in the dinette, but I stuffed it down there while Alexis was staying with me. So, and then I had a sleeping bag, but she brought her own. Usually I will keep the extra cushion in there. So that will fit in there. This is my rumple blanket. I love this thing. So you've got the cushion for the dinette bed. And then I have my rumple blanket in there. And now I have another extra blanket. I'm gonna stuff right there. This is the shorter table leg that you have to use to make the bed. Stick that in there. And I still have room. Let me see if I can put this sleeping bag back in there. I'm not doing anything fancy here. Last little thing I want to touch on is shoe storage. So like I said, I have my boots and some people have made this modification. I will insert some pictures to show you um, where you could do a cutout right here. I have yet to do it just because I don't want it to get messed up. I want somebody really professional to do it. And honestly, I really want the drawer mod done. That's what I want more than anything. I usually will say shoes stay by the door and try to not wear shoes past this point. So shoes will kind of pile up right here or if this is in bed mode we will just stuff shoes under here and that's the best way because you're not tripping on anything but then you lose this floor space when it's in a bed. But that's usually how that goes. I also keep a broom in here so I can sweep out the camper when it gets dirty. It gets swept multiple times a day. One last thing I do want to touch on the storage in the bathroom. Um, this little storage pouch thing comes with the camper. So just for reference, I have a detangling comb. I have a squeegee. I have an extra bar of soap, extra shampoo, extra trash bags for the toilet paper trash can. I no longer put toilet paper down my toilet tank. Call it what you will, but I prefer that. I have a new toilet brush thing. I haven't used it yet. And then usually soap will stay right there. It actually travels there and never falls down. Just to give you an idea of the storage on the outside, again, it is a small camper, so it's small storage, but you actually can fit a lot in here. Little disclaimer, it's going to be messy because I haven't done a lot of organizing since I came back from my last trip. Let's get into it. And my camper is disgusting. Ignore that. It needs to be washed. My moonshade. Like I said, this isn't organized. I'm going to organize it here on camera. Uh, I call this my little burn box, kind of. Um, I usually keep like spare bits of wood in here to help start a fire with. Um, these are usually in their proper place. I have a little pop-up trash can if we need to use that, but hatchet, hammer, lighter, gloves, cardboard, my hose that is normally in the box. I'm going to put it back in the box while we're here. Hand sanitizer and gloves right here at the edge for when it's time to dump. These are also usually in the box. Awning thing. Hi! 
stabilizer jack thing. Two outdoor rugs. A level. Copper stop. The cover for the front windshield. And then the box that holds the electrical cord and all the other stuff that I'm about to put back in here. So just for reference, my main box is in the back, covers on top. There's my random burn trash can box, step stool, moonshade, two outdoor rugs, hand sanitizer, gloves, level, all the other things that I need. And when I'm traveling, chalks stay in here. My leveling blocks are back in there. So there's plenty of room in here. So big, copper could get in there. Hey, baby. Ugh. So I really hope that this video helped you, you know, if you are considering getting the Soul Horizon, but you're not so sure about the storage. Yeah, I hope that this helped you. If you found value in this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more content if you like what you see here. Leave a comment down below on any feedback that you might have, any questions that you might have. If you would like to see me do a video on like how I actually prepare and pack for a trip and how I load the camper down for traveling, because that's a whole other mess. <laughs> but this is one thing you have to consider when getting a smaller camper is you're gonna have to get creative with storage solutions. But I prefer a smaller camper. It's easier to haul. You can get it into more spaces. That's just my opinion. And obviously everything is going to depend on how you pack and how you like to travel. So again, thank you so much for being here and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye guys.